Hey there, everyone. It's Denise Salcedo. Welcome back to the Up Next Fighting YouTube channel. With me right now is Jonathan O'Neill. Jonathan, it's nice to have you here. Uh, man, all right, UNF 13, October 21st. You're going to be challenging for, uh, you're going to be in the 145 title eliminator match. Uh, man, how do you feel heading into this big fight? I'm excited. Uh, I train hard for this. Uh, it's just a matter of me just performing to the best of my abilities. Uh, I feel confident with myself. My opponent, he's, he's phenomenal, but I just feel confident with myself, and I, I know I'm going to do my thing. Yeah. yeah. Now, I know you fought for UNF before. How did that go? Uh, unfortunately, I fought for the belt. I lost split decision. Super close fight, um, but I bounced back. I have three or four fights since then. I have two more belts and other promotions that I've, I've gained since then. This fight, I feel super duper confident. It's just a matter of performing even halfway to the best of my abilities, and I think I'll be okay. Yeah, you're, like, you're feeling, you seem pretty confident. Very confident. I, I know I train hard, I eat well. A lot of sacrifices are made for this, and it's just a matter of me I'm just doing my thing. Yeah. So, you know, you're here at Up Next, and usually people here who are at Up Next, it's because they want to be Up Next, man. So for you, what, what are some of the goals, man? What's the dream? What's the vision? Well, and the short-term goals, win this fight, first of all. And then hopefully in the future, uh, fight for the Up Next belt. This is an amazing promotion. I do want to be a champion for this promotion. I thoroughly love it. The way they conduct themselves, everything about them is absolutely amazing. Uh, after that, I eventually, not anytime soon, but eventually, once I go pro, uh, make it on the big time stage, hopefully I could fight for on TV so people, people could watch me and whatnot. I think, I think that's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool to fight on TV. I think that's a cool idea to, and whatnot. UFC, one championship type level stuff. That's eventually the goal. I don't want to rush anything, though. I don't want to be like some journeyman that just has a bunch of fights and just wins and lo loses and whatnot. I refuse to be like a regional guy. I do want to compete on the national level or international if that's the case as well. Yeah. Now, I know that you recently won a Muay Thai uh, tournament. Can you tell us about that? Uh, so two or three weeks, September 9th, I went to New York fought, uh, for a national WBC belt. I uh, went five rounds. Fortunately, I, I personally feel like I won four out of the five rounds. I feel like it was pretty handily my decision. Uh, the third round, I dropped him with an elbow as well. Um, had him hurt three or four times. Unfortunately, I couldn't close it off or finish it early, but I, was, I feel like I was this close away. Yeah. And I feel like with the small goals for this fight, I feel like that's going to be the difference maker in this fight. Yeah, that's really cool, man. Congratulations, by the way, because that's very exciting to go someplace like New York and to get such a, you know, to win a tournament. I mean, that's very, very, you know, it's, uh, you know, it makes you stand a little taller, right? Get your chin a little higher. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, my last question for you is, what do you want the people to know about you? What do you want them to know about Jonathan O'Neill? Well, I've, I've had 26, 27 fights. I've had 21 Muay Thai fights, four or five MMA fights. Uh, every single fight I put on a performance, that's one thing I feel like, Every, no matter what happens in that fight, win, lose, draw, whatever it may be, I, no matter what I come to fight, uh, that's one thing. I feel like I'm a nice person in general, but general, but in the ring, I feel like there's like a different switch that popped off, and I really feel like I really feel like I turned it on. And uh, no matter what, as a fan watching on TV or in person, it's gonna 100% be a fun fight unless my opponent makes it a boring fight. But <laughs> if it was up to me, it's gonna be a fun fight, 100%. All right. Well, I'm certainly looking forward to it, and I know everybody here is. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much to Jonathan, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.